Okay, so uh, we're going to do a funky little move from Neon Belly. I'm going to show you how we get to Neon Belly quite a lot. Uh, my side control normally means that in pinning especially and in striking, it's quite difficult for Graham to recover guard. So uh, what a lot of people do is bail on recovering guard and try and get the underhook. As soon as he gets his underhook, I have to deal with this immediately, otherwise he's going to be out the back door and it's, it's going to be over. So one of the ways that quick um, light folk do it is to put a hand next to his head, hand next to his hip, and drive this knee up and across his belly, alright? The foot is high. It has to be really high up here. My weight is down on the ball of my foot and I'm trying to get that as close to my hip, his hip, sorry, as possible. My knee is across his uh, hips. And the reason it's there is because if Graham turns towards me, I can use my ball of my foot as a hinge to then drive my knee flat. Uh, works really well. I keep one hand next to his head, breaking the line of his spine, and I keep one hand next to his hip. All right? A lot of people grab hold here and start to try and pummel in and stuff. I, I can't make any attachments in knee and belly, it's a ride. If I make attachments, he'll swoop me over really, really quickly. Um, people who teach that, then I don't know how. But anyway, I use it as a ride and I go here. Okay, what, what I tend to do is I don't tend to go for the usual kind of moves. Um, everyone's taught in the world that once this hand goes on here, I'm going to underhook here and I'm going to go for a spinny around the arm bar -y type thing. All right? um, my first move always, if he puts his hand on my knee, is just to get my underhook back and go back to side control. So my first, my first move is as soon as he touches my knees, if I want to, just to go back here and go back to side control, I've achieved what I want, which is to get my underhook back. But anyway, we're going to look at the sneaky little funky move. Okay, so I've gone here, he's got his underhook, I fly up, and I walk across his hips, and I step up here. Alright, I'm looking where Graham's hand is, okay, Graham's hand is on my hip here. If his hand is on my hip here, I'm going to take an arm bar on this side, so he won't have his hand on here, hopefully. Okay, so he puts his hand on my knee. Classical, classical, classical. I'm going to put my hand under here and I grab hold of his shoulder. Yeah, as I grab hold of his shoulder, this hand's going to go down on the mat just behind my knee and I'm going to pull him towards me and slot this leg in behind his head, keeping the shoulder lifted high. Okay, I then bring this knee up and I land it next to my foot. Now, I tried for ages to land straight into a, you right? Okay, straight land, land straight into a tri triangle. It's really hard if you can do it good. Once I get to this position, I consolidate this position. I'm going to drive his arm across and put my body fat on the back of his elbow. All right, he's all probably probably in difficulty, and if I'm strong enough, I can finish him from here without triangling up. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand down over here, and I'm going to take my weight onto my opposite knee, hold the blade of my foot, close that triangle, and sit back. Then I go behind the back of the head and pull to get the tap. It's really nice, it's really sweet, it's really quick. One more time. So, inside control, he gets his underhook, I fly up, I get to my uh, knee on belly. I'm going to go and underhook his arm, lift his arm. As I do that, hand goes outside here, swing it across, look how I'm lifting his arm, bring it through, look what lands next to the knee. I'm going to consolidate that, pull this across. Put my body weight on the back of that elbow. He's kind of trapped in this position now. All right, I'm going to take my weight onto this knee, grab the blade of my foot, close the triangle. At this point now I can pull on the head. I can still work with this arm. I like the Americana out of here. It's really nice. Sorry if you're brutal and cruel. You can start to work in under here. Camaros and stuff. It's up to you, but this is a good position. Do I roll to my back ever? No. I'd like to roll the ball back. Okay, so have a go with that, it's good fun.